Hey everyone and welcome to the Magically Dyed Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Sam and I'm Steph and we are here today with episode two, week two, whatever you want to call it, of the West Knits 2024 Mystery Knit Along Go Go Dynamo Shawl. So we're going to talk about clue number two. So if you've not completed clue number two and you don't want any spoilers, do not watch this video. There is your warning because I have spoilers. Yeah, I do not. That's okay. We're doing our best over here. All right. So I don't think I have anything before we jump into talking about the clues, except for who's going to go first. I mean, I can just go first because I have not started clue two. But you also have a story. <clears throat> I, I finished clue two, so I could just show it real quick. Sure. You go, okay. you go finish, show your clue two. So I finished clue two of my shot. Sorry, I'm trying to find the right way. Yay. It was this bottom section. So we had some brioche. So you had the option, well, not the option. You were supposed to pick one, and I picked two. But you were supposed to either do two things of brioche or two rows of the, or two seconds of the eyelets with the bubbles in between. okay. I really love an eyelet. I love eyelets. They're fun to make. So I Why? decided to do the first section is the brioche section in the pattern. And then after my first set of bubbles, I decided to do the eyelet section for the bottom half. And then the, bob, the bubbles. You got bored with the brioche. And I actually, <laughs> just no, I actually just learned because I haven't knit brioche in a while and I really like it. It's very repetitive. So once you get into like a rhythm, it actually went by really, really quick. Oh, that's good. And it was easier to knit the brioche with the, with the mohair than it was for me to do the eyelets with the mohair. Yeah. Because my needle did not want to go into my stitches with the mohair. Oh, that's so. Annoying. I used my, I did the mohair dare and I have the mohair in the background with my main color and then my bubbles with the contrast color. And it's then really this pretty. one, instead of doing all three eyelet rolls with the mohair or with the contrast, I, um, cause I wanted a little bit more of the mohair. Sure. I thought about just doing my contrast color for the eyelets, but then I wanted more of my mohair cause I love the blue in there. So and pretty. so I decided to do one roll of mohair, one roll of my contrast color, and then one row of my mohair and it's then really pretty the rest of the bubbles i love how it's looking so far. i would say it's so pretty it's so pretty and i love my color choices Damn. like i'm so Look happy with really them. great it, it looks like something you could definitely wear yeah in mo like multiple Yay. seasons so that is clue number two clue number oh when we're recording this clue number three got released today yes, um I, am. I did look at it this morning it's the instructions are very short, but there is over 400 stitches on the needles. So it's going to take a long time. Yeah. No and problem. I can't remember what we're doing anyways. Yeah, so, I looked at it and I was like, I'll start that tomorrow. I don't care. <laughs> I'll start it tomorrow. Okay. And now we get story? to hear Stephanie's My tragic tragedy care. story or tragic story, her tragedy of her shawl. Okay. So I was super excited because it was, I was going along knitting. I got my triangles done. I got my semicircles done. It was looking great. I foolishly in the car decided to try to transfer things from my um, waist yarn onto my needles. Well, somewhere in there, something got stuck and I didn't realize it. So one of my semicircles got completely ripped out. At least that, that full layer. And I was like, I can't fix this. I don't know what to do. And since I was in the car, I just sat there and ripping out my poor shawl. And I almost cried. But I did not. <clears throat> I would have cried. <laughs> um, so I had to restart my shawl, which is fine. I finished two, three semicircles in like a day and a half. I've been doing nothing but knitting. I, I it literally nothing. Okay. I lied. Like after my kids go to bed, I sit on the couch and I knit for like four hours straight. Without like taking a break, maybe a little bit to eat dessert, but that how is was that on your hands? I'm curious. Uh, because I don't know, like I haven't had too much problems with it. I'm just wondering if you noticed any like stiffness mm -hmm. or soreness. Like today, I I was at work and I had a pretty easy gig. I was doing AP Chem, okay. like, so so I didn't I like I was like I was easy. like the kids were super well behaved. I so like I paced randomly, but I was holding my knitting, like yeah. just looking at their computer screens and knitting while I did it, and so that was almost a full day of knitting and I don't like it does not bug okay. my hands or my wrist I I was noticing like a couple times my wrist was cracking but the other thing I noticed like on this second go around my tension's way different 
Like, that was funny how like to compare those. Because I like literally took the balls of yarn and just re put them. Like I've been re putting them in where they what they were, and I'm using like a good chunk of extra yarn off my my yeah. my my skein. So I was like, I must be doing something different. It's like every single one. So my tension must be the same across these semicircles and triangles, but different to how I did it the first time. Yeah, that's so funny. So I'm still still working at it. Hopefully finish clue one this this week and start clue two. Um, so we'll see. I just transferring, man. I didn't try to do the brioche. I know we talked about it last yeah, week. Yeah, I still wondering. think I'm going to, especially because now I'm super, super far behind. There's no way to catch up anymore. Like I had hopes at one point that I could. <laughs> I don't. I think if they wouldn't have fallen off my needles, I probably could have done yeah. at least the eyelets. Yeah. In that time, um, but now it's like, <sighs> there's just no point in trying to kill myself to try to get. We them. should make it the way you want it, anyways. Yeah. So I'm definitely still want to. I want to try the brioche. I just want to try it. Um, it's fun, but it actually was not that bad because the section is not that big Mm -hmm. and again his instructions are just so yeah (laughs) they really are so yeah we'll see i still obviously have to finish clue one like get all my triangles and then even still do that bubble around (laughs) so that one's pretty easy though it's really not bad yeah just getting a lot of pearling (sighs) oh i'm pretty sure pearling so i was timing out like my knit rounds like for similar length like maybe one or two stitches off is probably taking me a good three to four minutes less per round than purling. Like, I just feel like it, t- and that, like, and that gets exponentially bigger too. Like, yeah, where like a larger knit round would probably take me like seven minutes to do. That purling round's probably gonna take me like 14. Yeah, it, it takes a while. It's just, I can't. I and just, again, by the end of uh, clue two, we have 400 plus stitches. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot stitches but that's okay i'm still i'm working at it i mean it's still looking how it was the first time around so i mean it must have been doing that right hopefully i think it looks fine yeah so yeah that that's my story i was very sad i was so upset but we'll make it through yeah so i will say the only thing that like i'm kind of hoping for i think i think it will but like with how long the shawl it's so is. long. I feel like it's pretty shallow. Like, like short? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's pretty short. But we also have two more clues and we still have to like decrease. So like to get, I, I think it's going to go down. It could, but I don't know. I haven't looked. I did not. I, I literally just looked at what the, the title of the section was. Yeah. I didn't look at any of the instructions on how to do it or anything. There was like no instructions. So, so I was like, I'm not even going to be like a, like a, um, a normal shawl where it's got like the swoop. Oh, I don't sure. know what it's called. I'm sorry. It's like like a semicircle shawl. I don't know. I did a lot of semicircles. So many um, semicircles. Or if it'll be like a rectangle y mm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I have not looked. I'm busy now doing triangles and semicircles again. Mm. It was very, very infuriating. Yeah, after we do that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, when she told me, I was like, I want to like cry for you. <laughs> like, that's so sad. Well, and then I was trying to rip it out by the semicircle, and I should have just started in the triangle, like cutting the waist yarn from the triangle. Yeah. And then pulling that out because that was so much easier. My first uh, rage semicircle that I took out probably took me like two days to unwind because it was all looped into each other. Oh. Yeah, after that one, I learned like, okay, pull from the triangle. Because you attach the triangles to the semicircles. I was in such a rage. I know, no, no, I understand. Like that, yeah. You're like, just forget it. <laughs> I was like, what am I going to do? This is so. This is on Sunday, so all day Monday I was undoing it, and half of Tuesday I was undoing it. So then there's Tuesday night when I got home from work, and then Wednesday night when we got home from church, and then this afternoon I was doing semicircles. They look really nice. I don't ever want to do another semicircle again. So are you knitting the three semicircles first or are you going straight into the semicircle triangle? I know I knit all the semicircles. I thought okay. about doing that, but I, I was just, like, no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say do I don't know how you would. I mean, I guess. You could. I, you could start with the edge because those are the two you're putting together. So I could do yeah. the two edge semicircles and then do that middle piece together, but I was like, 
I was in such a groove and they had the pattern for that memorized at that point. Yeah. Yeah. That it was just easier for me to just do all three at once. Yeah. Like right now I have this the for the triangle, like getting back into it now. I have this one memorized, although I keep losing my stitch markers. <laughs> I'm like, where'd it go? I'm sitting on it, which is why I stopped knitting because I was like, <laughs> oh, I dropped it again. Dude, stitch markers are just like they never want to stand. I I'm always like flinging them off which is awful when i'm at work and i was like where did it go my kids find them on the floor like mom here yeah well i have all the metal ones that you gave me and i lost yeah. like 90 percent of them they weren't that bad so i have i'll show you so i've got these little teeny tiny ones i got them on amazon i think the crazy sock lady had them linked but i searched um i think it was six millimeter o-rings i don't know what happened to it i lost it Oh, well. No. No. Nope. Yes, but you can get quite a few of them for like $10. Like you can get like 100 for $10 or less. I can't remember off the top of my head. But it wasn't terrible. I'm just so bad with them. I need to go home and grab them out of my drawer again. I'm like running out. I get more. But yeah, so that's the story with my shawl. I am obviously continuing on. I did not give up. We're going to keep working at it. I would have had to set it aside. I would have had to go in time out for a bit. I thought about it, but I was like, I just can't. I just can't. If I put it down, it's just I'm not picking it back up. Yeah. I'm I may and I I, I really like I just, I just want to finish it. But oh yeah. so sad. I know. So sad because I was doing it. I was like, oh, I feel great. Like we're doing a great job. Like I was I was just I we had like a 40 minute drive back home from my in-laws house. And I was like, oh, this will give me some time to at least like get one row done. Yeah. And I just <laughs> ruined it. I was just too excited to start that part of the pattern because it was something different than triangles and semicircles. <laughs> now you're back to triangles. <laughs> now I'm back. <sighs> but that's okay. We'll make it through. So I'm curious, so far, because I don't remember how far you got in I got through, two gradient. Yeah, I got to like half of the um, the eyelids. I don't remember what clue that was. I think it's clue two. What, which one are you enjoying more knitting so far? This one, because um, those four that, okay, so I restart that one so many times with the, the stupid di like diamond square thing mm -hmm. and all those stitch markers right on top of each other yeah um increases. annoyed me so much like it was hard mm -hmm. to do that way um i wonder it if so it would have been easier i mean at least to begin with if you started off with dpns yeah actually because then everything's just on its own needle yeah and you don't have to like but because by the time it got bigger it was fine mm -hmm. but yeah i agree i think maybe having dpns would have been a a more advantageous option. Can you get real tight with DPNs? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's mean real tight. Like in the middle. Oh yeah. Cause so when I make my muscle burr sorry, I'm not I do not pronounce sorry. My muscle burr hats, um, you start off on DPNs when okay. you do your increases. And then um there's a technique that you do where it's almost like a magic loop. So when okay. you pull it, it cinches it in. Gotcha. I was wondering if that's maybe what happened with that. I've only, I've only used DPS once. Yeah. I think we, I don't know, I, I guess it still had a hole when we made them. Yeah, there was still like a hole, or like you went back in and you like wove it in. Yeah, you wove it in. I remember doing that. So we're talking about, uh, we made, what were they called? Knitted knockers. Knitted knockers. Um, I still have more yarn for that. But we, we made did. some knitted knockers last year to gift to someone and that's when we were using the DPNs. Yeah. So that's the only thing I've used them for. Yeah. And I, I've used them a little bit more. Um, it's usually like to begin like a bigger project. I start off on DPNs and then I will, once it gets big enough, I'll switch it over to Magic Loop. Sure. Because I hate juggling DPNs. Um, they clink together. I'm always worried that they're going to fall, like, they're just going to, like, slide. Which is what mine kept doing. They kept so, sliding off. I mean, I know there's other DPNs that you can get that, like, don't do that because I have the metal ones, the chow goos. Um, and I know they make wooden ones that kind of hold on to your stitches a little more. 
I just but feel I like had I already bought them. So. Super tight in order to get them to stay on. And then I get really frustrated because I can't actually get the yarn or like my other needle through. Yeah. I just, I prefer magic loop. <clears throat> but yeah. Yeah. I definitely, I mean, I feel safe with this big old giant. They're not going anywhere. I was like, I can pull this all the way through because who cares? It's not like it matters if they meet in the middle. Yeah. Pretty sure I know a difference between the semicircle and the triangle. Maybe. Maybe. Just At this kidding. point, I just, I dream of yarn. <laughs> Instead of I dream of genie, I dream of yarn. Hurry up. I need to do that. Make that show. Okay. <laughs> so, just kidding. No, it's fine. <laughs> All right. So, that is clue two. I'm very excited. I'm excited to start knitting on clue three, although I really do want to finish the sock, which I should have done two days ago, and I just didn't. So what uh, yarn are you using? So this is what I'm working on. I'm working on a sock. I am using the pattern String of Lights by Sock Witchery. And um, I'm using one of my monthly Harry Potter clubs. This okay. is Shell Cottage. So, and oh, you got the name of it. Down. Yes, it's Shell Cottage. So that's the cottage name that uh, a Bill and Flourish place. Oh, that's so cute. Yes. And I love this color. It's from Bumblebee Acres. I don't know if I said that. But no, I said it. <laughs> and then I knit the size medium, which is 64 stitches. And I did 20 rounds for my cuff, 60 rounds for my leg. That's what these lovely stitch markers are for. And then I just did a slip stitch, heel flap, and gusset. I just finished the cuffs that decreases. I have the foot and the toe. There, I made a stitch marker. There you go. <laughs> my stitch marker. All right. So that was what I was knitting on, if you saw me just looking down. We're not being rude. We're not just, we don't have phones down here. No, my phone is I'm not dead. just scrolling. I'm, I'm recording on my phone. Yeah, hey, so. you are. <laughs> it's like, the, what day was that? Where you're like, where's my phone? And it was I'm, I'm in recording your on it. Oh, yeah, I've done that before too. I've done it when it's also in my pocket. I've done it when like, I'm, I'm talking to someone on the phone, but I never talk on the phone. Yeah. And so then I look around for my phone. I don't talk to my phone either. We're talking about something the other day and I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't remember. Oh so God, if you before. are knitting the go-go dynamo, dynamo let us know in the comments below if you like hearing our updates please like comment and subscribe we'll be back next week with clue number three however far i get i feel like the clues are fairly manageable this year i like don't feel like done they're the week. bad i just no. it's not I when you like have to fairly, start over yeah and you're already pretty slow at so, knitting. But we'll see. We'll see how far I get. I'm really not holding myself to any. Like, I need to get this done. That's probably why you're doing it. You're, like, and getting it done because you're like, oh, it'll be fine. I just pick it up here and there throughout the day. And then um, my baby started sleeping a little bit at night on his own. So I've been able to knit for, like, an hour or two at night. I knit for four. I don't get very far. Well, I've been knitting longer. And I knit a little faster. Yeah. You do knit faster than so. I do. So that is all for this week's episode, and we will see you next time here at Magically Dyed Yarns. Bye. Bye.